Hello. So, we're back out. So, what are we doing tonight? Uh, I've got the hammock out with me tonight. I actually got two hammocks. I've got the DD and the Hennessy. I'll wait and see. Don't know what one I'm going to put up. Uh, I'm going to have a wee brew and be surprised tonight. I've never tried that before, but I'm going to try and make some bannock bread on a stick. So, we'll see how that goes. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I was going to walk further down, but I'm just going to stop here. I've seen a couple of trees, ideal for a hammock. So, just down by the river. Uh, I've been back for the last couple of times I've been down. But I'm going to stack the hammock up. I'm going to get the wee one Tigris uh, twig stove on. And we're going to try and make some bannock bread. So, let's get the, the hammock up first. All set up. <sighs> Can't beat it. So, that's the hammock set up. Next up, I'm going to get the one Tigris stove. So I've used that quite a lot lately. Uh, flat packs down. I'll wait a wee bit of kit. So we'll get that out next. Uh, get that put together. Then we'll get the get a few sticks gathered. Get that burning, and then. Type of bannock bread. This is the one Tigris stove. So, like I say, it comes in a wee kind of flat pack bag, which is ideal because then it just you basically just chuck it in your pack. As you can see, I've, I've well used it already, but it basically comes flat packed like that, and then you just basically it just all slots together. So, now that I know how it works, it literally takes. The luck of it's 20 seconds and the whole thing's together. So let's get it put together. Right, so got a wee pile of wood prep. I've got the one Tigris stove set up. So let's get it lit. But another cracking wee spot. Oh, see, it's seen a fish jumping there. I've come up to the surface. But, oh, I can't beat this, can you? Yeah, another lovely bit to sit. So, let's get this stove on. Right, so, stove on. Let's get this bannock bread out. Oh, in fact, I need to do something first. So, first of all, I need to get a, a kind of longer stick. Because uh, I need to wrap the, the bannock bread round about that to kind of cook over the top of the, the stove. So, I need to find a a kind of longer stick that I can stick that on to. But, that's that on. So, it's sharp to sell a stick. So let's go on with it. Right, that'll do it. So I've got the the mora knife for me tonight. Great little, you know, has a good good wee blade. Very very sharp. So I'm just gonna clean this off. And what we'll do is wrap the bannock bread. That will do. I'm gonna wrap the bannock bread round about this. So I made the uh, I've made this bannock bread up before I came. Uh, very very easy. It's literally 200 grams of flour, uh, 50 grams of sugar I think it was, a tablespoon 
of baking powder, a bit of cinnamon. It says you can put raisins and that in it, but you know me, I like to talk about biscuits, so I've grated up some Ecuadorian dark chocolate, so I grated that and I've stuck that into the, into the mix. So I made it all up before I come out, just for easiness. And then it'll just back it so all I need to do is basically wrap it round the wrap it round this stick. Which I'm just gonna do it shortly. So alright that'll do there. Right, that anyway. So that's that. Basically just gonna stick it round the end of that. And get a bash. See what it tastes like. So, like I say, that's it. I've made it up. Made it up before I left the house. And it is very, very simple to make. And then, I think all you do is you wrap it around the stick. You can cook these in a, what, in a skillet or a frying pan or whatever. But I quite like the look of it. That and it's in the stick. So I'm going to give that a bash. So. That's my mixture there. So I'm just going to pull a bit of that off. It says you take off about a plum size bit. I think right, that's. That looks roughly a plum, doesn't it? We'll soon, we'll soon find out. Right, and then. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll that into a, a kind of sausage shape and then I think you just wrap that round about the stick. Right, I don't even know how thick you're supposed to make it. But with trial and error. Right. And then I think all you do is you basically wrap that round and what I'm hoping is when I then stick that over the fire it should hopefully cook but we'll soon find out right so just like that right and then I think you just you basically just turn it down a bit. Like I say, I've never done this before, so... First time for everything, aren't they? Right. I don't know about you, but... I think that might be ready. So, let's give it a bash. Mmm. Right, taste test. That's actually quite nice. See the, the cinnamon through it. Mmm. But, I think Bannock Bread's an opener. I think it's a Scottish recipe. I think you can, you can stick all sorts of stuff on it. I want to raisins, to chocolate, to whatever you want basically. That's not right. That's lovely actually. Might even take that out and make that the next time I'm out camping. Oh, you can see it's getting demolished. Mm. 
looks that good. That one's done on. And there's still another one. We're back of another one. Oh, and I'll have a wee brew with it as well. Why not? So, let's see. It's basically, basically wrap it around. Right, yeah, must have just been, I've just been squeezing it down to it sort of thins out a wee bit. I don't think you want it too thick. Because you want it to cut right through. So, time for number two. Right, number two with a brew. <laughs> so, let's get a second one cooked up. We've got a wee cheeky brew with it. And then I think I've got enough for about another three. So I might as well eat the water. No point in wasting it. Oh, that's a great wee spot, this. Let me beat this. So, I was out again last night, uh, got a cracking sunset last night, she did it at the shore, probably see my video that I posted last night, but oh, it was just a cracking night, not where the sun's just come down, especially looking out over Aaron, and it'd be cut. Whereas tonight, if we change the scenery, back down to the river. So, cheers folks, time for a, time for a brew, brew with a brew. But I'll be back at camp at the weekend, uh, probably meet up with Bugsy. Spend it the well, fight mate Brian might come out as well, uh, Big Stuart, Scottish Wanderer, nah, no. nah, no. he's still, he's still locked in. Oh no, I'll be out. Hey, anyway, let's get this, uh, this next bit of bannock bread on. Time for number two. That's what we're talking about. It's just nice sitting, see down by the river. Something like that kind of sound of running water, isn't there? It's like the rain in the outside of your tent. Something of it, I don't know. Well, for me, I just like that sound of water. Right, number two. Mm. Fantastic. Do our brew. Well, I'll tell you. These are definitely good. Quite a few fish, quite a few fish jumping. So we need to have a speckle in there. I don't know if there's a good, uh, I think it's got sea trout in that, but it's quite a good salmon rubber. But, five it for. And I'll be honest. I don't know if you end with fish in this but I 
the guys further down, they've done quite a bit of work. We're going to work for some trouble as it's for it. But they've kind of, they've leveled all the kind of banks and built up kind of sections of the river. In fact, the bit that I've, eh, uh, the bit that I'm, oh, just there, my phone's ringing. Ah, right. Well, I saw the bank bread done in. With a couple of brews. Kind of raining a wee bit. But I'm quite lucky because I'm actually I'm, I'm kind of quite sheltered. I've not got a tarp all that with me, but I'm right under a kind of overhanging tree. I'll just show you the now. So I'm pretty sheltered. Just sitting back, chilling. Cannot beat it. Check his channel out. He's just got one of these uh, a mock helmets. Well, it looks a business. Uh, I can't tell a lie. I would like one, but I think they're quite expensive. But he's just done a wee review video, so I'll go over and check out Johnny Explores Scotland, uh, and you'll see what I mean. But it's, it's a totally unique design, but it looks really, really good. I, I like the look of it. But at the moment, I've got loads of tents, I've got loads of hammocks. I don't think I need any more. Yeah. Never say never. In fact, you can never have enough tents and enough hammocks, can you? But I'm going to have this, this through. And then I think I'm just going to lie back for a wee half hour. Relax. After that, I'll probably I'll head up the road. Uh, I'm not far from where I stay. I'm not going to 
10 minutes walk. So it looks as if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but again, I'm just 10 minutes from my house and I'm basically sitting down at a tiny spot like this. That's what I love, I love staying where I stay. You get the river 10 minutes one way, you get the beach 10 minutes the other way, you the countryside at the back. I'll tell you, priceless, absolutely priceless. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish this, this brew. Quite a love a brew, don't you? Well, some folk like coffee, <laughs> but I don't. I must not. I like a cup of tea. So, that's another brew down the hatch. I'm going to think I'll just fly back. Shall we? Right, I don't know, I've been lying for, I'll be honest, it's probably about an hour. But it's just, it's a hammock, right, I can't beat them, just for comfort wise, and the fact that you can just stick them up. Obviously you need trees and that, but they really are extremely comfy. If you've not got a hammock, don't know whether you're all into your tents, but you need to try a, a hammock for a wee change, because they definitely are good. I like them anyway. But, then we're going to stay for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to start heading up the road. But, as always, I eh, hope you've enjoyed the wee video. Just out, like I say, cooking a bit of bannock bread, drinking some brews, getting the wee stove on. But, it's getting out of the matters, isn't it? So, as always, like the video, get a wee thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell for future notifications for all the future adventures. As always, thanks for watching folks and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.